I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Everyone you meet on the Peloton is a snake. Green text arrow, be me. Starting my second of three 30 minute rides of the day, 30 minute Cody Rigsby pop ride. The theme is uh, baddie with a fatty. His words, not mine. Three and a half minutes in, get a, uh, get a high five from Cosmo Kramer. I remember getting a high five from Cosmo Kramer before. I remember them being in chat. I clicked, I high five them back. I clicked on their name. I followed them. I switched my leaderboard immediately. No hesitation to racing from against everybody to racing exclusively against followers. I have to say I'm 0-2 versus chat on the, on the Peloton. It's madness. I put out a 30-minute 403 kilojoule ride. It's probably like in the top 10 rides I've ever done. Average wattage was like 224 watts. Lost by 60 kilojoules. Really? Really? I'm out here fighting for my life, dude. In 90 minutes today, I averaged 220 watts. 223, 224, and then like 216 or something like that. And then, you know what it takes for me to average 220 watts over the course of 90 minutes? And leave with lower self-esteem than when I started? That's crazy. But I guess nobody stream snipes you if they're gonna lose. <laughs> I'm 240 pounds. I probably cheat and go too hard on resistance. You, here's the thing, okay? Now, at, when, I, when it became, because for 15 minutes I deluded myself into thinking I could, I could stay in front of you as the, the deficit slowly decreased and then flipped. Did I uh, go to your Peloton account and see what your metrics were and see that your average cadence was 58? and my average cadence was 77, and then think to myself, well, no wonder they're putting out such higher output. They're leveraging a weight advantage to go at the lowest cadence possible and the highest resistance possible, okay? Now, that's the first thing that I thought, but then I said, you know what? So am I. <laughs> because I could easily, listen, if they're calling <clears throat> 55 to 75 on a heavy climb, I'm not going 75 cadence, 50 resistance. I'm going 55 cadence, 75 resistance. So I like I don't have a leg to stand on. I can't cancel you for the same stuff that I'm doing every single ride. It'd be hypocritical. Plus, it's nice to have now I have two nemeses. Instead of merely one nemesis, I have two nemeses. Kip Casper's driving me crazy. And and by the way, I want you to keep doing this if you're still here, Kip Casper. I want you to keep doing this, but literally, I do a ride. Well, I do three rides, but I do, he picks one of my rides from the previous day and just demolishes my score on it by 100 points. Every single day, I go look at Kip Casper's profile and I'm forced, because I'm a, I'm a positive person, I'm forced to give them a high five. I did a 30 minute Bradley Rose 80s ride. I got 374 kilojoules. That's a really solid output, honestly. That's like probably 209 watts over 30 minutes or something like that. He says, boom, you looking for this? 475, he beat me by 101 kilojoules. Do you know how crazy that is to just, to just fart that one out and then follow it up with like a power zone ride? And then I'm forced to go, yes, sir, yes, sir, sir, yes, sir, sir, yes, sir. It's good though, because since being emasculated by Kip Casper, I have probably improved like my, my overall output by like four to five percent, which is pretty good. I mean, it's more than pretty good. I've been working my ass off, honestly. But ever since Kip Casper beat me and I said, I'm going to catch up to you one day, I think he's in increased his output by like eight <laughs> percent. So <laughs> there was already a damn deficiency and the deficiency has grown, even though I'm fighting for my damn life out here. Is it the person in front? It, haven't you ever heard of the tortoise and the hare? The person in front is supposed to take their advantage for granted and then stop to have a nap at the side of the road. And then the person behind them is supposed to never lose that hunger and then pass them at the end. Somehow you got yourself thinking you're the tortoise. I will say, I don't know. Are, are there any um, nutritionists in chat? Are there any sports nutritionists who are fluent in Korean? Because we bought this, we bought cans of pear juice at the Korean grocery store. 
And I'm here to, t it, it's, I was flabbergasted when I looked at the nutritional information. The can is like 180 milliliters, so it's like roughly half the size of a normal can. And one can is like 120 calories, which is insanity. <laughs> it's like a can, it's like a, a, a calorie per milliliter, right? I've started drinking that as my post-workout recovery drink because I think that it might literally just be like pure glucose syrup straight to the pancreas. Can I see the ingredient list? Dude, this is gonna be, I'm gonna end up in the Tour de France as like a 52 year old. And they're gonna be like, you won't believe his secret. He drinks Asian pear juice, which contains higher than normal levels of copper, which helps your body form blood cells and absorb iron. This accounts for the hemoglobin advantage that has allowed him to outcompete other people within his age group. Someone said, has your diet changed along with your workout? Not really, but I like, I know this sounds like a crazy thing to say as a vice, but I've been eating a lot of motherfucking fruit lately, man. To the point where I, I dropped into the NLSS Discord yesterday and said, I've been, drink, I've been eating way too much fruit, man. I think yesterday I ate two golden kiwis. I ate, over the course of the day, I ate at least three peaches. I think I probably also ate like two full handfuls of strawberries. I don't know how you do that. I'd be pooping like crazy. I have never heard someone say, well, let me rephrase. I have always heard people say fruit causes them digestion problems. I've never, I've never noticed it. I remember once when I was a kid, the peaches were so good. I was probably like 12, 13 years old. After dinner, I ate like six or seven peaches. And my parents were like, you're going to be... Well, that's the thing with fruit, right? Sometimes people say it makes them constipated. And sometimes people say it gives them diarrhea. I remember my parents saying, you're going to be bound up which is like rural Canadian and maybe rural American for like um, heavily constipated. Did not, they never noticed, just had a normal bowel movement the next day because I was 12 years old. I hadn't destroyed my GI tract. I don't know, my, maybe, my, maybe that's why fruit tastes so good. I mean, I think fruit tastes good to everybody, more or less. But maybe fruit tastes particularly good to me because my system is designed to digest it. It's like when you put premium gasoline into like a BMW or something like that. Doesn't that baby purr a little bit deeper? I also feel like fruit is like a, well, and let me rephrase. I feel like candy is a psyop. I don't know what, how it happened. But like, I feel like there was like a 15 year period in my life where if somebody said, hey, do you want to eat like a pear? Do you want to eat a plum? Do you want to eat a, a nectarine? Do you want to eat an apricot? I would say, no, I'm not interested. But if somebody said, here's a piece of like nectarine flavored candy, I'd be like, mm, yum, I'll eat eight or nine of those. But I, and this is a recurring theme in my commentary. I think that the fruit tastes better than the candy. So how did we get psyoped into wanting to eat the candy more than the fruit? Is it, did they take advantage, did they short circuit the feedback loop of our brains? Because I feel like good things taste good that's like an evolutionary reward for eating food that aids your survival or proliferation, okay? So we have evolved to be like, yum, peaches. But then candy was like, it, it, it was a parasitic, like we're gonna take the flavor of the peach and yank it up to like 10,000 X to make it so concentrated that it like short circuits your dopamine highway or something even though it doesn't taste as good. When you, when you put it on your tongue, I bet if you were in an MRI machine, your brain would light up like uh, the 4th of July. But they got us all backwards because the peach tastes better, man. Apples, I don't know, because they're not a top tier fruit, but hey, Anel, I turned 21 yesterday, went to buy beer and the lady didn't even card me. That's got a sting because she basically said, she said, okay, old ass, here's your beer. Can I tell you that I, it was the day before the picture from Disney World where everyone said nice calves. The day before that, so you can extrapolate backwards, you can intrapolate backwards what my, what my facial hair would have looked like. I bought a Yingling at Epcot and I got carded. This is gonna sound insane. 
I think I only get carded when I buy alcohol in America these days. You, a math genius, that's because the drinking age in America is higher, so the burden of proof is higher, despite the fact that you're older. Me, a patriotic Canadian, Americans look older than Canadians. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong, they look exactly the same? Okay, okay, who are you to... Whoa, what, what was that... Uh, that uh, you didn't see it, it was on economics Twitter. Hey, anecdotally, here's an anecdote of uh, two times that I got carded in America, having never been carded in Canada over the last like six or seven years. Um, those are literally just anecdotes. Oh, are you saying that though, even though it happened to me two times, it never happened to anybody else ever? That's literally the definition of an anecdote. Oh, so you're saying that I'm the only person it's ever happened to. My dad once got carded buying a video game at age 60. I mean, that, listen, your dad just got trolled. There are no 60-year-olds who look 18. I'm sorry to tell you. Like, or maybe they were trying to give him a compliment or something. I'm not saying he doesn't look good. I'm just saying, wait a second. Am I back in Narcos, brother? What happened to my white balance? Tomo, did you, did you mess with my camera settings? He's back in Breaking Bad. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm not changing it. <sighs> Slash marker. The dolls. Yes, I know. This episode is directed by Vince Gilligan. I don't know why my white balance changed again. Little bro thinks he's Don Eladio. That's me. Who do you think you would be if you were in Breaking Bad? And you, you can't just say like a person living their normal life. I'll be honest with you, I think like I'm 100% the chemist who gets killed. I think I am the, Gil, is that his name? I'm the good chem, Gail, that's it. I'm the good chemist who gets hired and is like, sure, I'll cook drugs, I'm good at chemistry. And then like two weeks later, I'm like, I fucked up. Oh, <laughs> I swore at the start of the video. Ah, you two, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You already age restricted my first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Video. Couldn't they have called the game something like the Texas Chainsaw Birthday Party? Please, you're making it so hard to get around the, the Google DeepMind filters. Anyway. Hey, you were just talking about um, old people who look young. What about young people who look old? Did you see that high school football player who has a mustache? I, oh, okay, listen. I know that that sound... Wait, I got it all backwards. I didn't, your message got scrolled out before I could read the whole thing. It's, he's actually a middle school uh, football player, right? He's like a 12-year-old kid who has a full mustache and looks like, not to be rude, but he looks like minimum a 30-year-old man. What's crazy is it's not Baby Gronk, okay? This is a different... <laughs> I don't know Livy's position. I, didn't she get rizzed up by like a baseball player or something like that? I don't know. I, we got a, maybe there's going to be a fight between that baseball player and Baby Gronk. Anyway, listen. Margarine. $101,000 in margarine. <sighs> okay, this is pure Barbados margarine. Oh, Turks and Caicos Islands. <laughs> the Turks and Caicos Islands. What was I thinking? I'll be honest. Um, I have heard of the Turks and Caicos Islands. But uh, until I, that was surfaced at the end there, I had forgotten that it existed. So I apologize. I got it first try. I'm so pumped. Joe Weisenthal in the chat, everybody. Joe Weisenthal in the chat. Congratulations. It's not enough that people are lining up to kick my ass on the Peloton, even though I'm working my damn behind off. Now everybody's popping in and saying, hey, I got today's tradle in one. Never ends. Let me just bend over, pull my pants down. You can all give me a spank on the way by. That make you happy? That make you happy? My bare butt, balls, and back. Touchstone Pictures presents a Jim Varney film. What is Ernest? Goes to... What is Ernest goes to jail? What is Ernest goes, 
Ernest Saves Christmas. Hey, it makes perfect sense because it came out in November. Okay. Ernest sucks so bad. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Okay. Ernest is pretty stupid. Don't get me wrong. But Jim Varney is a national treasure. And Ernest Scared Stupid, which probably came out in like 1992, 1993. Ergo, when I was in daycare, I was watching it like, you know, once a week. Scared the ever loving shit out of me. I actually think that Ernest, I always talk about the Super Mario Brothers movie being where I got this weird ick about like the de evolution chamber where they take Toad and they, against his will, they like turn him into a stupid little Goomba. I think that Ernest Scared Stupid is actually the, the seed that germinated into the Super Mario Brothers movie because that weird little uh, goblin captures the kids and turns them into statues. I think that's what grossed me out more than anything else. I'm not convinced it's not bad, though. Can I get a Rotten Tomatoes a check on Ernest Scared Stupid? Honestly, if it's above a 15%, I consider that a positive. I'm just waiting for the lore masters to come in. It's at a 17 we take those. <laughs> oh, man. That's probably the highest reviewed. Well, actually, no, I feel like Ernest Goes to Camp might be the highest reviewed Ernest movie. That was like the first one. Audience is 50. I take this as an absolute win. But like the Super Mario Brothers movie does that too. Not just when they turn Toad into a Goomba, but then like Princess... Daisy's dad gets turned into like a freaking like a drippy little mushroom dude like he's just goop it's disgusting man it still bothers me to this day even because because it made the emotional connection like when when my brain was this big it's like the core of the ever loving gobstopper like I can't get to that to, I got to peel off 2,500 layers of onion just to be able to excise that little traumatic nugget that got placed in there in the early 1990s. Corey, hello, Corey. Corey, can I tell you something? I'm not putting this on you to, to flex it on you, okay? And I, I swear it to you, because I know you've had COVID recently. And if anything, I'm glad you're not on the bike, because like last year when everybody was getting COVID, I was reading on the Peloton subreddit, People were like, my one regret is after COVID, I got back on the bike too fast and it screwed up my lung capacity on the bike for like four months. Everyone's like, I wish I just took an extra week off, but I need to flex a little bit because I lost a chat on the bike today. So I got to recover some self-esteem. Three 30 minute rides today, 90 minutes total. Average output, 220 watts. Oh! Admittedly, a lot, a, lot of the, a lot of what was responsible for the high wattage was out of the saddle work, which is a little bit, I don't want to call it illegitimate. I'll call it less legitimate. What the hell is this? Psychonauts looking. This is Psychonauts. Two. Okay. <laughs> Why two? Because it looks like it didn't come out in 2009. Okay. Now, this is great because this is a huge callback because every once in a while, people say, why do you call games Psychonauts looking ass? Because I know what Psychonauts looks like. The Psychonauts doesn't look like this. Oh, yeah? Explain how I just got that in one then. No one's ever played it. People love Psychonauts, man. It's, it's a certain... I don't like it, but it's a certified millennial classic. Like The Office. Oh, we have Game Doll artwork. I forgot. The Perfect Smoky Eye. I know this game, I think. Is this not Plague Tale Innocence? Uh, <laughs> Ghosts of Tsushima? Onimusha? Three Demon Siege? Neo 2? Sekiro? Shadows Die Twice? Brother, I'm... I don't know what this is. 
I have no idea. What did it? Tenchu Stealth Assassin? Shadow Tactics! I heard that game was amazing. But I will not play it. Because I can't play a tactics game unless it's made by the same developers as FTL or it's a main series XCOM game. I'm sorry, I just realized that's where I am. When I played Desperados 3, everyone was like, it's one of the best tactics games of all time. Played it for a couple hours and I was like, no aliens. No aliens, no mechs. Or Midnight Suns, that's true. Marvel's Midnight They don't even have Midnight Suns? That's like such an indictment of that game's cultural footprint. Is any game ever been unrighteously assassinated like Marvel's Midnight Suns has been? It was... Is it as good as XCOM 2? No. Is it as good as XCOM Enemy Unknown slash Within? No. But it's really good. I would call it a great game. I would call it an 8.5 out of 10. The fact that it has no lasting cultural footprint in the gaming industry is crazy to me. You were insane to call it an 8.5? Motherfucker, you didn't play it. You watched me play it. I played the whole fucking thing. Now, Dave the Diver is a 10, but Marvel... Dave the Diver is a 5.8. Midnight Suns is an 8.5. Super Auto Pets is a 12, okay? That's how you have to normalize your scale. Triangulate the rest of my scores based on that. I know I didn't play it or buy it or even watch you play it, but I think it's like a 5. You don't know what you're talking about, idiot. Go back to game FAQs. Don't let... Your preconceived hunches be a surrogate for a dearth of life experience, okay? Some of us are in the trenches actually playing games instead of arguing about them on social media 12 hours a day. People got a damn Gears of War avatar. You're going to give them three hours of your time on a Saturday? This is a... Can I tell you something that you're not going to like? No? All right, never mind. Never mind then. This, I was going to mention something about this photo and you were going to disagree with me, but some people were going to say yes and we maybe, might have had a discussion. Maybe librarian could have put it in a hot takes compilation or something like that. My hot take. I'm going to say it anyway because I, I march to the beat of my own drum. I love crab. I love lobster. Not the hot take. However... Having to shell my own crab like this, I'll do it once as a cultural experience, maybe even a, like a once every few years as a cultural experience. I would rather just have like a prepared dish, quite frankly. It tastes good, but I, it's a whole lot of... I'm getting so many plus twos, man. This is crazy. You know, the, the first time we went on a Disney cruise, they have the buffet every day. You see middle-aged dandies from all over the world lining up for when they put out the fresh crab legs on ice. I got in line. I said, this is why you come to the buffet. You got to get the crab legs, especially when they're fresh. You got to get your money's worth. I, I got one of the claw breakers and I started breaking the claws and sticking a little fork in there and going, nom, 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 nom. and the meat is good, but it took like so much work to get a little bit of the delicious meat that when I went back up, I was like, just give me, give me something else. Give me a, give me a stew, a Brunswick stew or something like that. Give me a curry. Give me the fried rice. Give me the orange chicken or something. Can you cut off a couple pieces of, of prime rib and then give me the gravy on top of it? Like, I like the flavor of, of a, uh, of a crab. I like the flavor. A lobster tail is a little different. Because with a lobster tail, you just kind of go like, and then the whole thing comes out. But um, uh, getting the meat out of an entire crab, a little bit laborious for me. Now, that's why, and this will be a hot take maybe as well, that's why I love a soft shell crab. Because the, it's like a golden kiwi. You just eat the skin. I'll never forget, though, when I watched that History Channel show about the world's strongest men. And they had like a... Brian Shaw and what's the guy's name? Eddie, I forget his, I forget his name. Anyway, they had four strong men from around the world. Eddie Hall, that's it. And then for their cultural experience, they took them to a soft shell crab restaurant and they were all like borderline throwing up. They were like, this is so disgusting. I'm like, dude, you eat like 11,000 calories of maltodextrin powder a day and a soft shell crab has you like 
dry heaving in the restaurant. Like, it's crazy. You could literally deadlift like 1,025 pounds, but you've been defeated by like a little crab. Couldn't be me in either category. Let's put it that way. I'll take, when they're done with it, I'll take the leftover crab. And you know what? You can have my plates for your deadlift, quite frankly, because I don't think I'm going to be needing them because my wrist is still a little bit messed up. Anyway, I think this is 1954. Oh, 1938? Holy cow. I'm just, I'm proud of you. That's what I'm saying. I'm proud of you. Uh, this. That's a dash cam. Peter Stormare has brought his dash cam to the <laughs> to the rodeo that's a GoPro this is just an incredible photo man that is John Malkovich <laughs> this guy knows he knew the assignment this is TJ Miller dude there's absolutely no doubt. This is a, a is very famous people in this image. Now I don't know. I wouldn't want to be there. Is this real? Like I know this isn't an AI generated image, but like, is this a real thing? Like, did an accident happen and they all fell down, or do people like volunteer to be trampled on by the bulls? Like, I'm just being real with you. This guy's dead. This guy is going to probably also die. This guy will probably just get severely hurt. This guy might be okay. I'm going to say that's great coverage. You, you're dead. You're definitely dead as well. You need to put the camera away and hold your head with two hands, okay? First off, the shot is not going to... I don't even know what this is. Is this your last will and testament? One hand is not going to do it for you. Please put your... Put your items in your pockets. This is not a selfie moment. This is a moment where you commit to your survival and then you let the memory live in eternity. And some, trust me, somebody else has taken a picture. I think this is the year 2012. 2017, okay? This is Midsummer, an Ari Aster film. I think this is 1911. 1920. This is a tough game, man. Go, 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 go. This is 1924. Let's do 23. 1933. This is one of the worst performances of my life for sure. <laughs> Can you give me some more like college dining hall photos from 2008? Like that is my, that's my era, man. This is 19... 40 even. <laughs> oh my god. 1307. This man does not know the 20th century. Angels and demons. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, sequels. Angels and demons. Doctor Sleep. Star Wars Attack of the Clones. He's crazy. Scream, X Men Origins, the Wolf, the X Men Origins, Wolverine, the Manchurian Candidate. These are movies with Liv Schreiber. Movies with Liv Schreiber. Movies with Liv Schreiber. Let me get a swap and a swap just so I don't lose that. Okay. Halloween, Jaws, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. These are the scariest movies of the 1970s. <laughs> Fearless, Cape Fear, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, movies with fear in the title, Hot Swap Me, okay. The average is a four out of five, we're already there with six swaps remaining. These are sequels, never mind, they're Ewan McGregor. What's crazy though, is they are all sequels. Birds of Prey, it's the second movie in the, maybe not, anyway, whatever. <laughs> we'll lead his two kings. Wait, 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 okay, hang on. Manchurian Candidate is like a sleeper agent. That's kind of like having two personalities in one. Dr. Sleep. 
he be sleeping. This guy's sleeping the title, sleeper candidate, sleeper agent. Halloween, oh no. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't Jason, I mean, Mike Myers, he's kind of got a split personality, right? I'll never forget in the, in, so the Halloween remake, which was actually like the, the one from 2017 that's pretty decent. They got Mike Myers just in the mental hospital. He's Mike Myers. You got to cut his head off. It's the only way. They literally got him like in prison, but like, a, like he killed like a thousand people. <laughs> Something like that. They just got him in the yard pacing around. He's literally neurodivergent. Look what happened. He busted out of the fucking hospital and murdered like another 11 people or something like that. I'm against the death penalty, but this is a supernatural threat, okay? It's the same shit. You got to cut off Thanos' head. You don't put Thanos in Supermax next to the damn Unabomber, the Richard Reed, the dude who tried to light his shoes on fire 22 years ago. You got to put him in the wood chipper, Peter Stormare style, okay? It's the same thing with Mike Myers. They ever capture Jason Voorhees, they gotta, they gotta throw him in the wood chipper. Magneto, you can't keep throwing Magneto in the plastic prisons, okay? At some point, you, you, the, the burden is on you. He keeps escaping from the plastic prisons using the hemoglobin in your blood or like the graphite in your pencil or something like that. Fear in title, 70s, I don't know. Movies that have been remade. Movies based on Hunter S. Thompson fever dreams. Movies that have been remade. Angels and Demons, sequels, Tom Hanks, Audrey Tattoo, Spotlight, Mark Ruffalo, Dr. Sleep, Cliff Curtis. That lady who looks like Michelle Pfeiffer, but is not Michelle Pfeiffer. Her name's Rebecca Ferguson. Birds of Prey, superhero films, super movies based on a day, Dr. Sleep, <laughs> Cape Fear. Oh, Angels and Demons, Spotlight, Primal Fear. I'm crazy. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's about the church. Catholic church priests. I, we just got lucky to get there. But isn't Primal Fear the one where Ed Norton is like, you can't put me in prison. I have a split personality and it was my guilty personality that made me do it. But then at the end of the movie, he's like, surprise. I was the guilty personality the whole time. I tricked you and oh, he killed a priest. Ah, oh, you know what they should have put on? They should have put on um, First Reformed. I guess it wouldn't have fit with the fear, but <laughs> you know what? These are hard puzzles to create. I'm not mad. I just wanted to gas up Ethan Hawke a little bit. Sorry. Did you just spoil the movie for everybody? She came out in 1986, motherfucker. Get a life. You're going to see Primal Fear by now. You probably would have made it a priority. You weren't going to watch it. You were going to watch Puss in Boots again, review it on Letterboxd for like the ninth time. You were going to watch it at 2.5x speed. Hey, Texas, now I'm the biggest bull. Dash, 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 dash. As a moose. I guess it could be like a bull moose. 49th. Is Alaska the 49th state in the union? Is this what is going on here, man? He looks, I don't know if he's scared or he's like yelling at the moose. I'm going to say that this is uh, Juneau, Alaska. Because that's the capital of Alaska. Even though, you know, the, the, the resident Alaska nowhere has logged on, by the way. Thing that's crazy about Juneau, Alaska, you um, can't get there by road. No disrespect, Alaska, but like, what were you thinking? You, it's got to be one of the only places like in the Western world that you can't get to via a damn road. And yet they got cars. <laughs> Is that true? It's true, man. You got you to gotta take, uh, to get there, you got to take a boat or a seaplane. You ever hear of an island? Yeah, but this fucker's not on an island. It's on like an incredibly large contiguous landmass. Yes, you can. My dad did multiple trips to Alaska. What are you talking about? Here we go. 
Here we go. Can you get to Juneau, Alaska by car? Why is Juneau not accessible by car? The absence of a road network is due to the extremely rugged terrain surrounding the city. This in turn makes Juneau a de facto island city in terms of all transportation since goods coming in and out must go by plane or, goat or boat in spite of the city's location on the Alaskan mainland. Guess what? Sounds like you should listen to your dad a little bit more carefully instead of scrolling through your phone while he's telling you about the experiences in his life that led him to be the person that he is today. Because I'm sure your dad, if he went to Juneau, Alaska, probably said we had to take a boat there. And you were going, huh, huh, ice cream so good, ice cream so good, gang, gang. So maybe you should listen to the things that he's telling you instead of just trying to 2.5x fast forward when you think he's telling you a boring story, okay? You know, you know the reason I chose you, by the way, is because you said, huh, question mark? My dad literally drove there. And then you, you added a, a coda as well. You said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You didn't have to come at me with that level of aggression when you're incorrect in the first place. If I was objectively wrong, that's an appropriate level of attitude. But you were the one who was wrong. And you were, you were coming at me like I'm the idiot. Let that be a lesson in, in empathy, man. Apologize. Maybe his dad lied to him. Yeah, nothing's ever your fault. It's always, for everybody else, it's always their own decisions tied to their personality. For you, you're like, it's the context, it's the situation. My blood sugar was low, I was hungry. Other people's actions caused me to go on the wrong path. Everybody else is like, wow, that motherfucker's evil. Look inside of yourself, man. We're all made of the same stardust. Anyway, get on. This is Juneau, Alaska. I'm going to say that Alaska joined the Union in 1952, 1953, 1958. I thought that Hawaii joined in 1955. I thought Hawaii was the last one, but that's just incorrect, I think. <laughs> and it's in Anchorage. Alaska's all, it's loosey-goosey over there, okay? Because Anchorage is like the biggest city, and I think you can get there by car. Don't, don't quote me on that. I said, I think. But they still said, nah, man, we're going to keep the capital in Juneau, a city you can only fly an airplane to that has like one third the population. What a, you, listen, no disrespect to BC cells in the chat, but I mean, our capital city is Victoria. That's not, and it's on a damn island. But I kind of like it because we got enough politicians over here. You ever see our ballots in our municipal elections? How am I supposed to know which eight people to vote for as park board trustees? It's crazy. That's, that's, that's too much of an expectation to have for your average voter. Look up the Trans-Canada Highway. I don't need to look it up. I drive on it like two times a week. Why don't you just link me to the video essay you watched? I'll watch it in 2.5x speed and whenever it gets boring, I'll hit 30 second fast forward, get to the cliff notes at the end. You guys all seem really smart in geography. Let's see how your smart asses do in Pukdoku. I have to ask a question about the rules. Do they need to have played 40 games with their team, with, with St. Louis? Because like Wayne Gretzky played for St. Louis, he definitely played more than 40 plus playoff games, okay? No? Okay, well in that case, give me a freaking... Doug Gilmore. <laughs> Gretzky isn't active. They don't have to be active. This dude's filming Sonnet Insurance commercials. Has been for like 17 years. Philadelphia, 40 plus career playoff games played. Give me a Mikhail Renberg. Oh! Arizona, 40 plus playoff games played in his career. That's a Keith Kachuk. You got to go Keith Kachuk on that one. Okay. Now, this is where things get tough because I can't just go back to the 90s. Philadelphia, New York Islanders. Give me a Keith, Pre give me a Wayne Primo. Oh, give me a Keith Primo. Oh, give me a Joe Primo. Give me a Kevin. One of the, oh, fuck, I'm washed. <laughs> One of these primos played for both teams, man. This is a gimme. Oleg Tverdovsky. Oh, <laughs> okay. 
A lot of people got nine this week. They must be very good at the game. Um, of course, Philadelphia, New York Islanders, you got Mark Strait. Nashville, St. Louis, you got Paul Correa. Makes perfect sense. I, I hate missing an opportunity for Brett Hull. He's in like every single puck doku. Halak, of course, St. Louis and New York Islanders should have known that. Kyle Turris could have gotten that too. Probably not getting Andrew Ladd because both of these teams have been mired in irrelevancy for 25 years. I know, look who's talking. Um, and I know New York Islanders fans, I'm sorry. I know you made the conference finals, not but three years ago. I'm just saying. I live 17 time zones away from you, and you're the third biggest team in your zip code. No disrespect. I like the blue and the orange. I like the blue and the orange. Just remember that it was Bo Horvat who drew first blood. The dude got first star in a game and said it's a hell of a lot better than playing in Vancouver. I'll tell you that for free. You know what you also did for free? Played five games in the playoffs just to get eliminated in the first round, motherfucker. Signed like an eight by $8.5 million deal. Your whole fan base hates you because you're pushed up against the salary cap. Your ass was producing at like a fourth line level for the last quarter of the season. Enjoy it. You only got eight years left. Islanders Arena is kind of lit. Oh, did they remove the SUV? Did they take out this, this section that they dedicated to a Nissan Rogue that blocked everybody's sight line in the corner? Yes, they moved it. <laughs> I had nothing to do. I had nothing against New York Islanders until Bo Horvat decided he was gonna he was gonna take a shot at Vancouver for free. Okay. There is a Pog Blackjack roguelike demo called Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. It's a little short, but the mechanics are simple and fun. You know what? Have you saved me from sap here? Maybe you saved me from sap. Steam, Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. A roguelike deck builder where you play blackjack with unique cards from both real life and other card games. Battle degenerate gamblers, take part in events throughout the tavern and strike down the greedy capitalists who are in charge. 85 megabytes. I don't know. That's a little steep. I'm going to have to clear out some room on the SSD. It downloaded faster than it took me to take a single drink of water. Do you know what kind of world we live in? Some things in the world have gotten worse over the last 20 years. It's crazy how much faster like the average internet speed has gotten. The pipes do be fat, people. The, we, the pipes have never been, ever since I've been elected, the pipes have never been fatter. The packets have never come in faster. Chibli's downloading Olivia Munn movies and watching Ripley's Believe It or Not, Believe It or Not, at the same time he's downloading Olivia Munn pictures and watching GIFs of Ridley, Ridley from Super Metroid. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> The pipes have never been fatter. You're going to be so sick of the packets and the TCP IP protocols. Who's Chibli? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. We don't promote other verified streamers here. I hate when a verified streamer comes into my chat with a check mark and uh, laughs at one of my jokes. Ergo, implicitly advertising their own stream and stealing food right out of my child's mouth. How dare you? You think I didn't see you, Giga? You think I didn't see you with your check mark? Enjoying the stream and siphoning viewers over to your own content? How dare you? I got, there's just one, I don't have a lot of rules here, okay? I've just got a couple rules. Rule one, good vibes only. Rule two, no racism, okay? Rule three, all verified partners. You're allowed in the chat, but you have to rotate your Twitch badges so you have Overwatch League badge instead of partner badge, okay? Okay, one person in chat suggested this. Librarian, can I rely on you to use... Um, what's the chat, Chatterino, Peepo Chatter? What is the Twitch extension called, the, the Chrome extension? You need to find this person who suggested it. If this is amazing, they get all the credit, and if it's horrible, don't bring it up to me, okay? <laughs> this is Dungeons & Degenerate Gamblers demo. It's merely the demo. The full game is not out yet. Um, it is a deck builder, a roguelike deck builder, where you use cards from real life and also cards they made up themselves in order to defeat other degenerate gamblers in a tavern of ill repute. Let's get it started here. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. 
I busted. That's painful. I'm busting, man. He's taking me down. Both busted. We got lucky on that one. Because <laughs> they busted. If we want to get as high as possible without busting. Now that's interesting. Whoa. Whoa. That was the boss. Giant rat. You thought there wouldn't be rats in the basement? I wasn't really thinking about it. Choose a card from play or your discard pile to put at the bottom of your draw pile. Oh, you're in a world of hurt, brother. And we gotta we gotta try to make the rat bust. Oh, if they if you both bust. Ah, of course. I don't think this rat's gonna bust though, man. 20% chance we bust a little. You've already busted. Don't get used to it. He's never gonna bust, that's the problem. We're on 20, we stand. The dude's on, he's unbustable, man. He's not gonna bust though, he's not gonna bust. Thank God he actually busted. Okay, that seems great because we can hopefully use the plus two card to force our opponent to bust. We're not busting, only, only one card busts us. We're not busting on this. Give me one. Oh! Because I don't want to bust. I can only hit until I bust. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you used my own plus two against me! <laughs> he did not bust? How did this happen? <sighs> oh my god. But he busted again. They, they busted themselves. Because I draw my loyalty card more. Don't, don't bust me. Okay, thank you, thank you. Don't bust me again. How dare you bust me again? They got me, they got me bent over here. I busted? Just kidding. <laughs> I didn't bust. Props for not making a Ghostbusters reference. Okay, so can I tell you? My kid brought a, a hair elastic to daycare yesterday that was a ghost. When she got in the car, like I picked her up from daycare. I said, what song do you want to hear? She said, mm, I want to hear a ghost song. Only ghost song I could think of, except for Same Ghost Every Night by Wolf Parade. Ghostbusters. I put on Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. She loved it. I want to tell you, I don't want to make enemies. I have nothing really against Ghostbusters. That might be one of the least, the songs with the most minimal artistic merit that's ever been made. The, the, the riff is good. <laughs> Uh, the vibes are immaculate, don't get me wrong, but there's like eight words in the whole song. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. If there's something weird and it don't look good, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You've now heard half the song. It goes on for like another five and a half minutes. If you've a dose of a freaky ghost, you better call Ghostbuster. When I, like every time, Ray Parker Jr., it's like he wrote the song with minimal lung capacity. He was like, I can only get out two sentences and then we need to get a. I feel like what they should have done is just make Ghostbusters two minutes and 10 seconds long. Why on earth is it five minutes and seven seconds long? They should have made it shorter. It's a novelty song to play at a Halloween party. Plus two, it's always longer than you remember. I'm, I'm not taking any negative twos from Gen Z. That's all I'm saying. Because if you can't watch a, a nine minute long monologue in, what was that show called? You know what I'm talking about. The horror show, the horror show with the priest and the, Help me, Midnight Mass, thank you. If you can't watch it, if you watched episode four of Midnight Mass and you said, oh, I have to watch it on 2x speed, it's too boring. Your young ass is not listening to the entirety of Ghostbusters. You're going to get to the first chorus and you're going to be like, why don't I listen to this song more often? Then you're going to get to the third bridge and you're going to be like, oh, right, that's why. More negatives, please. I think realistically, as good as this run is, in order to not be late, I gotta throw in a slash marker, but I am enjoying myself and I would absolutely return to this. I would 100% return to Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. Slash marker Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. Are you doing a P dance? I am. I'll be right back. Skirt! You guys see those Armored Core 6 reviews? No? 
88 on Metacritic. That's pretty good. Not as good as Baldur's Gate 3. What's crazy is that you're not watching Baldur's Gate 3 right now. You're watching a blank fucking screen. I'm avoiding spoilers. Yeah, okay. You're, you're avoiding boredom. Macros, I'm telling you, it's probably an amazing game. Everybody says it's an amazing game. To play. That's all I'm saying. To play. Good to watch too. I don't give a fuck. Then why are you playing Tomodachi Life, Chibli? Chibli, I saw a tweet that kind of reminded me of you. And it's not a tweet that you would make. But it reminded me of you because I could experience your reaction to it, I think. Blippy should be shown in high school sex ed classes as a way to promote safe sex. Teens, just imagine watching hours of this fucking asshole day in, day out. The Excavator song permanently embedded in your nervous system, spelling B-L-I-P-P-I in your sleep. You will use a condom forever. Why are millennial parents so fucking weird, dude? Oh, having a kid is so hard. I have to watch children's TV shows and put on like Rick and Morty, Joss Whedon style exaggeratory dialogue. It's not that serious. It's a, it's a TV show. It's just a joke. Yeah, but it's not funny. It's just like, I don't know. It's just kind of embarrassing. Just watch Bluey. Okay, that's the other millennial parent energy that I don't respect. So you got to be careful, okay? Adults who watch Bluey when their child has fallen asleep. Dude, Hello. Hello. Mike, I'm all sitting here in fucking Ryan Gary's chat talking to him like I can't join the call and say hello. <laughs> I was just getting myself angry looking at extremely millennial coded tweets. You ever seen the uh the Blippy Harlem Shake? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> 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 oh my god, man. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's so it's something. I don't think That's that one's on YouTube kids. No. <laughs> no. I heard uh I'm it's so smart to turn game. off voice chat. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I gotta yeah. go through settings. I haven't done this. I mean, so I have no idea we should what... keep it immersive. We should, like, all use voice chat and, like, say slurs. <laughs> well, no. no. Chibli, what are you doing here? <laughs> Do ketamine too say early, slurs? Too early. Are you, too are early. you, did you just get hired? You're, you, congratulations to the new VP of X user relations. Chibli, Chibli. Chibli. Yeah. Chibli, he unbanned um, me. I did everything right and he unbanned me, folks. <laughs> I'm not going to elaborate also, but I have set my computer to self-destruct in 90 minutes, so I'm probably going <laughs> to randomly disappear. Okay. Um, I'm uh, Leyland. Uh, Corey, Julie? I'm sending you a request so I could play my main. I've sent you a request sure, I don't for care. Julie. I accepted your request. Swap Thank complete. You. You, can play, you can play Connie. Connie's a piece. Oh, Anna. What about Anna? What do you mean she's Ooh. a piece? <laughs> Dude, is Anna Olivia Munn? <laughs> I love you, man. Jibli, Jibli. We love that Jibli, folks. We love that Jibli. What did, he, what did he mean by that when he said she's a piece? Connie's a piece. Yeah. I think it's because she's, she's a piece of ass. A look at her. Look at her. She looks good. She looks well, a piece of what? Oh, oh you're object. You're objectifying. I'm, I'm objectifying. Her. Oh, oh, hey, don't, don't do that in my chat. We should kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They're all on Xbox over there. Easy, free win. I'm like. I'm like clicking just on left. it, but nothing's happening. <laughs> Internet really just left. time too large to play. No! Oh, okay. oh, no! Why the fuck they got an internet ping time on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, man? It's a serious game, Chip. Here, let's let's try again. Maybe they're maybe they yeah, put us on ready. US East. I gotta I gotta send you guys another oh, party that's invite true. too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't play as the killer. Like I just don't have the. You can't. I, I don't have the peripheral vision. I think. And the camera's like an, <laughs> an, it's an inch behind Leatherface's, the back of Leatherface's head. I, I, uh, I tried Remnant 2 this week. How that and happen? I'm so used to going, I'm so used to going into games and like cranking the FOV up. Mm, yeah, you were swimming in like a fishbowl or something. Well, it's a third person game and like you, they let you crank it really high. And like if you move the mouse, it's so nauseating. Pretty up, pretty up. Ready up! <laughs> ready up! I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, other team. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please! Go! He, he, he readied. Now the other two. My typing. My typing doesn't even work. They're bad. They're silencing <laughs> me. 
Come oh, on, well, come on. I said please and nothing happened. Come on, come console. On, so console Corys, get out of here. Oh, come on. He's in your wish! Him. What the hell? Cory, why are you antagonizing them? Look, oh, no, that's a bunch of stars. What do you think he said? They said hag. I said fools. I'm, I'm taking my work. screen off for now. This is getting too hot, man. Uh, he actually did say hag. Don't worry. He maybe he I see that, that, but yeah. I don't... <laughs> Frozen console, better, lol. I'm going to type, fuck you. <laughs> 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 Wait, my messages don't go through, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and this, okay, now now I've got asterisks. He said, I'm, I'm going to skin your... I'm going to skin your asterisk. They're sitting there saying console beta, console beta, and every time they want to type, it goes broop, and then it's like, <laughs> like they have to type on the fucking Xbox like typing oh, screen and hold true. down right on the D-pad to get the goddamn O key, dude. Oh, okay, so we need to be quiet, otherwise we'll wake up Grandpa, which Can nobody wants. I hear a chainsaw. Already. <laughs> that can't be good. That's Leatherface. He's the only killer active. Chibli disconnected. Oh no! Internet ping time is too large to play. Mm. But I think if we use a, Google this. if we use a private game and maybe chat could join us. Yeah. Yeah. Game. So it's on just game leaving? Paused. Yeah. We can just we can just bail on this one. Okay, See I'm you, leaving. console boys. Bye, console boys. They're gonna come teabag me. Gonna <laughs> You're gonna get a knock on your door in 11 hours. Dude, yeah. Maybe they're right. Maybe console is better. <laughs> yeah. Adam Driver, y'all. Adam Driver's in the game. Olivia Munn, Mini Dr Adam Driver, Olivia Kylo Munn. Ren, recently released from Galactic Prison, Kylo Ren. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> okay. You forgot to turn your papers in, Mike. Oh, uh, oh it was really good the first day I did it. I would Guys, I know the line's famous. Can someone join? It's on Game yeah. Pass. It's on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass. It's famous. Guys, he's freaking famous. You should be jump. You should be paying for the opportunity to do this. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Hey, you're right. You're right. Hey, I I have a streamer mode on. What are their usernames? I need to make sure they're subscribed. Um, what the heck is that? I hear a chainsaw, guys. Oh. Um. Erm, oh God. What, the scallop? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, guys, I'm so alone. I have to find the others. YouTube Let's Players, uh, in 2014, be like. Uh, uh, I'm crawling through this hole, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Chib cruising, man. I'm looking for stuff. Should we just be like in general? Hmm? That's true. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Someone in my chat did say you go ch chimp Sorry. mode as a survivor all the time. So I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I see you. I hear running. I, I, I may live. I may live because I see someone opening a door and I got, I got a potion. Does that mean he's near me? Brother, brother, hurry up! It takes a long time! <laughs> hurry up! It's almost open. I mean, oh, hello, open the hello, fucking hello. door, man! I know, dude, he's taking it's forever! It's open! What do you mean? I'm, I'm fucking with- I got a screwdriver! Okay, but be careful. Run! Run, be, run! Oh, be, no, run. Be careful up here, because there's now there's three killers that could get us. Or two two killers, I can't remember. You guys went upstairs? Go back down! Go back down! He's here! Adam Driver's here! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, I locked myself in my here frames, with the mother- My frames, Dude, my get frames! Get away from me, Adam Driver! You guys are opening the door. I'm running away! <laughs> T, T, I ran away! Justin's sitting here fucking with the screwdriver. He did it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no. I see Justin has escaped oh, from the basement. Come on, yeah, I'm with Justin. Justin. Ruin my day? Guys, I'm dead. Oh god, my game lagging real oh, bad. Yeah, I, it's <laughs> real stuttery. <laughs> I have oh. been killed by Leatherface. Keep still. I was one tapped anyway, but I have been killed by. Oh, Leatherface. that's a bad guy. <laughs> I thought this was a friend. Okay, let me guys, I've died. I just got stabbed. All right, Corey and Justin remain. Corey, Once a week? Corey, Two you hours? know you know toilets, right? You know me. Yeah. I know I this because one time at an Airbnb, I clogged the toilet, and Corey unclogged it by just pouring multiple glasses of water into the bowl until it eventually flushed. In our, I don't remember this at all. Did it happened. happened. It happened. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> In our place, there is a toilet. And I've always thought of a toilet as being... Forgive the metaphor, but it just makes sense. I've always thought of the, the, a flush as being analogous to the male orgasm. 
You, you don't. <laughs> you can't have half of a flush. A half flush is a is a non-flush. Either the button gets pushed in all the way and it goes, or it didn't count as a flush. You know what? It's an it's an all or nothing sort of deal, right? I get you. I get you. I think we have a toilet that has a a gradient of flushing. I think you hold the button until the detritus is gone <laughs> and then you stop holding the button. I've never seen it before in my life. The fuck are you talking about? Is it what like, are you, like, you, got, the... like, you got like a, like a low <laughs> flow and a high full, mm -hmm. flow toilet in the, in the same toilet? I think so, yeah. But like it I doesn't it. do the flush where it goes like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, it it just goes like sometimes. it just goes. Oh. I don't know. You must have a like a like a. You must have a piss flush and a poop flush. There is a pip, piss flush. Are we talking flush about the flush? flush? Yes. Uh, my piss flush and poop are the same button. I think that's the way it should be. I, I don't know when it gets so normal. complicated. You, I've no, never no, seen no, a but two it's like toilet. Really? Oh, it's yeah. customized. I've seen though, like it's cool. Toilets. They're ruining bathrooms, my, man. <laughs> no, they're good. My, the way mine works is if you do a light push, it, it's a piss flush. Right, of course. And if you do a big push, it's a poop flush. Oh, I see. That's crazy. It's like uh, the Xbox 360 These low flow toilets. I've only water ever seen a toilet so low. it's got flush or, or nothing. <laughs> nothing? Which You've one seen do the you toilet do? toilet with nothing? <laughs> Man, you gotta get out. Yeah. You gotta get out, Justin. Like an outhouse. <laughs> you gotta see the world. Dude, a piss flush and a poop flush is the way to do it, and not high water levels. Y'all uh, don't care about ruining the environment and shit, and like it shows, man. I will start got a lot of using the piss flush instead of the shit flush for piss. When Neymar Jr. stops flying in his private Boeing 747. Thank you. Until you then, I'm using, I'm using the shit flush for everything, including piss. Well, why? I'm gonna use the, the piss, piss flush for my shit. That's no, crazy. Your yeah, house is going to stink, you're brother. Just, you're just going to have wet poop. No one can stop me. Your house is going to smell He's disgusting. He's watering his poop. He's putting chia seeds <laughs> on it. <Dude. laughs> what, what does the pee flush do? Doesn't it just flush, but like less fucking cool? It just like... replaces the water, pretty much. Why does the game feel worse this round for me? Oh, because there's all this smoke down also just here. replace the water? Uh, yeah, but, like, yeah, but it, it sounds like, cool. And it does extra, because it's got to get rid of the poop stains. And it's got to be high pressure. To get rid of the poop. You guys oh. ever use your piss to clean the poop stains off your toilet? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. right. Absolutely. Time, I'm just making sure. I'm just things to bring up to my therapist. Sometimes <laughs> when I feel charitable, I go door knocking. Like I, I fill up my bladder and then I knock on someone's door. And I say, hey, can I use your bathroom real quick? I do need to use the toilet. And it's like an 85-year-old woman. She's like, of course. And then there's a big poop stain on the toilet. And I piss oh. it right off. That's nice. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna yep. die. Leather, go. leather face is on me, man. That is what not the good. It's, it's the best leather face I've ever seen in my entire life, quite frankly. Guys, I found a door. Okay, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm rummaging through a lockbox right now. Me too. Dude, maybe we should change the killers. Maybe. I mean, it's probably because you're <laughs> you're getting you're you're getting stream sniped. I don't probably. think I'm getting stream sniped. I think this dude's just like a lot better than me. Yeah. Oh, health. Oh, yeah. Chug a lug, brother. Hello, just, just oh, be careful, you, Justin, the killer! Behind you, behind you, behind the killer! Behind, behind you! One second. Oh my god, they're camping. They're trolling you. Oh my god. I gotta... Honestly, I think you could take this lady. Yeah, turn around. Oh. And turn around, dude. Turn around and slap her. Oh, no. Leather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Me neither. I just turned and clipped. <laughs> Justin just shoulder checked the woman, dude, and knocked her. <laughs> oh no, I'm still. <laughs> nope, not yet. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe Grandpa's up here. I can at least ruin his life. Yeah, kill Grandpa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can stab Grandpa. <laughs> you can stab Grandpa to immobilize him temporarily. That rocks. Dang, can I mean, just kill him? He's already looking pretty immobilized. I like how you stabbed him in the shoulder. Why does this motherfucker get the spotlight? He did, not, he did nothing Ooh, in that. Also, uh, what are we doing with uh, the second hour? <laughs> Justin, give it a chance! <laughs> this is not a balanced game. <laughs>
Please, we need Justin's a- like, we need Why a... is it not in first person and where's my gun, bro? I didn't say any of this. <laughs> um, I can't go invisible? What the heck, guys? Where's the rafters at, man? Yeah, this is my battle bit moment. <laughs> Don't do it. Only only one of us Maybe can Maybe we should cycle out killers, you know, for the niceness of the, everyone else who wants to play I was, as well. I was trying to ban them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just trying to ban you because you're too good. Not from chat, but just like, look at this. We're we're level 16 combined. You guys are level. I don't even. I can't even do the math. Like level 48 or something like that. You, it's we we got to get something a little bit more balanced here. No, don't switch to the cook as if that's gonna make all the difference. <laughs> you're like, uh, uh, <laughs> this is not the way to introduce Justin to the game. Okay. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's, Ryan, it's great. Ryan feels like me during Battle. I know. I feel it's only we only played two matches. I feel so bad. <laughs> We're like every like most people are enjoying it, but one person doesn't. So he just feels so bad. Oh. That was me during Battle Bit, dude. I mean, the first time I you know played I this cried. game. No, you didn't. I cried that day. Whatever. I cry all the time. It's no big deal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, only during Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. That happen... Also, I cried that day because I watched the Blackpink documentary. I <laughs> Jimmy, before you get out, you have to kick the car battery. You have to kick the car battery. You have to stop the car battery. Otherwise, you're going to get electrocuted by the cattle gate. Oh. Oh, I thought you were rapping. Look, okay, he's doing it. <laughs> Is this oh, really I found the body. You just, you just do this? Justin, you, gonna... they worked really hard on this, okay? Did they pay you? No! <laughs> I'm trying to understand this. <laughs> Listen, have you played Dead by Daylight? Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Can I just say, I don't want to. problem. I, uh, people really think I'm a misogynist, which is messed up, in my opinion. Really? Why? Cool. What are they saying? Because, well, well, it's because I say that women like sushi more than men. They would get pretty offended by that one. But can I just say that I absolutely hate the shirt that Anna's wearing? Ooh. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know What's this, wrong with the, it? You know the kind of shirt that has the stitching under the chest line, and it's like a shirt on the top and a dress on the bottom, but not as long as a dress? What's wrong with that? I don't like this. This American wow. Midwest. Wow. Kind of look. Hey, what are you I wearing? Don't, I don't Give like us your fit check on stream yeah, right now. I'm it's wearing. Cute. I think it's your top. <laughs> I'm wearing, He's wearing that top right I'm now. Wearing an <laughs> Eddie Bauer shirt that has Eddie Bauer in cursive, and it says Outdoor Outfitters. And um, my ass has not seen the sun today. But <laughs> oh fuck, that went that went way longer than I thought. Now Julie's shirt, I don't have a handle? problem with. Oh fuck, I think wow. Julie's outfit is on point. It's just, I mean, just Anna's outfit, man. Oh, fucking grandpa. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Where oh, the fuck no. did that motherfucker come from, dude? Spawned in? Spawned in? I just Bye. got, I, it's, it's just like a, it's a, it's a t-shirt dress, man. I don't know what, what his issue is with it. Come, asshole, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> how do you, how do you stab them, by the way? You need a bone shard in your inventory. I have a bone shard. Then you can sneak up behind them and hit them with the left click. Is it no, like what am I doing? Is it what? Is it like a prompt that comes up? It is, yeah. To stab them? Okay. I, level five grandpa? I just got a level with you guys. That is a level five grandpa. Grandpa now has true sight. He can reveal your location through walls every three seconds. What the fuck? It's fine, my throat just got slit. <laughs> oh no, it's only me. It's only you, bud. I don't Chibli. see how the killers ever lose in this game. Well, wait till maybe we swap over. <laughs> fuse, fuse box to open. You know what we should do? I, I think there's one chance. I should leave. Justin stays as a victim and me, Chibli, <laughs> and Corey become killers. Then you'll get no, to no, live. A, no, you'll I'm, get to I'm, live for I'm, a while because I, I, I can only speak for myself. I'm not very good. Oh, who's this? Or maybe, yeah, I don't know, I don't know maybe you're an amazing killer. Maybe you're an amazing killer. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. Level 5 Grandpa. Oh, my neck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? She's playing. You're, like, ascending. Oh. I'm not saying she deserved it because of the shirt, but...
I can't believe Ryan hates this shirt so much. Did, okay. did a girl in this shirt hurt your, break your heart? Probably. This is what every girl wore when I was in high school. It was that shirt, low rise jeans, and uh, La Senza thong sticking out of the top. And, uh, and you know what? Those same girls were winning best dressed in the yearbook. Make it make not, sense. Not, not the juicy sweatpants? Juicy sweatpants? I don't know. Maybe your school. Wouldn't, wouldn't, nobody was wearing juicy sweatpants in my school. I don't know what anyone was wearing at my high school because I wasn't looking at women in that way. <laughs> <laughs> Overcorrected. Overcorrected. Yeah. <laughs> Dude who's trying to be so uh, based that he closes his eyes every time there's a woman in front of him. Chin pointed ah! high up so that he can only see from the waistline and above. Bring like a box on his head with like a one inch hole in it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Girls were also wearing those those like black pants that were like leggings to the knee and then flared out from there. Mm, oh so, yeah, so true, so true. And I am now Leatherface. This gives you, you a chance in the basement. I swear I on my life, I'm ass broke. <laughs> I request a change to the family, and the motherfucker denied it, man. <laughs> <laughs> if ready, have a chip. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do, we're gonna do great. And no, I don't think it'll us. be much of an advantage to hear what you're saying. Probably we gotta take down the big sh Chad streamer. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bant. I'm not gonna talk. Yeah, about it. yeah. I'm just, I'm well, just plus all of it is like, around. oh, he's on me. He's on me. Like I, you know, I'll already know that because I'm he. Is like the vision obscured? Like what's supposed to do? No, with? I'm just bad. Like I don't have good uh, detail. I don't I don't notice details. I'm always glancing at Chad. Whoops. <laughs> Someone went really loud, really fast. It's okay. I'm in, I'm in a cutscene right now, so I can't even right, see I'm just going to mash it then. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. You just killed someone, Ryan. I did. And I'm going, I'm, I'm dead. You just killed me. Hey, 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 hey. Why would anyone turn on the, the bone leg? Or... Uh, my, oh, it's stupid. It's so stupid. My chainsaw overheated. It's. I still think it's crazy. They got Leatherface using an electric chainsaw. Yeah, <laughs> is it really? It looks like a Ryobi to me. You're lucky, brother. You're lucky. It's a pull start, okay? Otherwise, I would be <laughs> on you over there. I don't think you got a pull start electric chainsaw. <laughs> it's just it's the worst of both there. worlds. <laughs> Yo, Jack. I'm so sorry. Oh God, I keep going back. Oh, to the I same looked spot. in chat. I got a ping. Footmaster said Chib got me. I guess, I guess Jack is Footmaster. <laughs> oh man, I hope I never have to type those words. Chib got me. Footmaster? Oh. That must be so Grandpa's not hungry. I gotta find where the hell Cory just left. Where you going, brother? Oh, oh my god! Oh, you're lucky. Ah. You're, my Ryobi 4 oh, amp battery ran out of juice. I'm gonna pretend I can't sprint because I don't want to kill my friend instantly and ruin the game for him. <laughs> oh, he's getting away from me. <laughs> I have to rip my chains off. Oh, I can't go through this next one. <laughs> oh, dude, your fart cloud stays like a damn mummy. I know where to go. Hell? I farted. Corey, I'm you're, gonna go through Grandpa. you're lucky, brother, but guess what? I have destroyed your little rat hole. Justin's dead. Oh, Justin yeah. died. I, I have passed away. Okay, I'm gonna get on the sniper tower and spot for you. I appreciate that. Oh, I Grandma spotted him. Eating. I spotted Connie. Connie's on me. Um, south by Grandpa Shack. <laughs> by Grandpa Shack. Grandpa Thank Shack you. Great intel. Behind wheelbarrow. I'm. F if you can see me on the tower, I'm facing Connie behind the wheelbarrow. If you can take a lift. <laughs> oh, Connie's now under the staircase on sniper tower. Under the staircase on Sniper. Hang on, I'm feeding Grandpa some blood first. Okay, just come outside the backside of the Sniper Tower. Understood. Of the Grandpa room. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Stop feeding Leatherface. Um, Stop feeding Leatherface. Stop feeding Leatherface. You know, I can't see. Oh, 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 okay. Um, I'm feeding you info. Oh, I can't I see. see you, Ryan. That's fine. I'm, I'm playing. Oh, like Connie's a... on the move. Connie's on the move. Connie's on the move. Okay, we we uh, we're stabbing Corey. She's on the move. She's running. She's hiding again. On the oh, she, going left, going left. Uh, uh, <laughs> northbound. She's running. She's running. Okay, yeah, you're on her. You're on her. She's gone uh, left and then she's full that way. 
And then she took a left at the end of that, that road. Yep, there you go. You got it. <laughs> nice job, man. Those are great directions, honestly. Yeah, I used to RP a cop in GTA. <laughs> this feels like y'all are... This feels like y'all are cheap. This is a Call of Duty. I kind of like playing the bad person. It's kind of nice, right? Yeah, it's relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> are you the baddies? I'm a oh, baddie with my baddie friends. I'm a baddie. I'm showing my panty. Oh, they're all they so are. far away from me. <laughs> Dang, I should have just like be killed them instead of playing with yeah. my food earlier, but I felt bad. That's very funny. Who designed this house? How do I get out of this room, dude? Grandpa? Grandpa house? Just that any house has ever been created in this game. How did, how did, there we go. Dang, you're really honking, Grandpa. Holy cow. A person. <laughs> ah! What the hell? What are you going to do over there? I this don't know. Property's, property's way too big for a family of four. Oh, I've spotted... Oh, that's Adam Driver. Never mind. Oh, they're over by the generator now. That's where I've been living my life. <laughs> Jim, I was there the whole time. On top of <laughs> so you bumped long. into me twice. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. yeah. Run back to tape. It was very fun to watch. No, no, I wasn't. I'm on your team. And then when uh, everyone got revealed, you were kind of standing on him. Yeah, yeah, away yeah, from and you him. looked away. So then you just ran away. <laughs> Wait, is there, is there two people left? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were only on Connie, dude. Nah, there's two. It's uh, Corey and then... Uh, yeah, well, not for long. And, and then it's Randy. Then run, you, 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 you weakling! I'm so ass, I don't even know what to say. Chop that shit, chop that shit. Ryan Gary, drop it. I can't, my chainsaw okay. stalled, brother. Right, I will be for you. She's going back at the base, but I can't shot. stop her. <laughs> Who's got the Amazon basics? Ah, dude. my back. How long does it take you to get back to the basement as a killer? I don't know, like 12 years if you're me. Guys, I'm going to be honest, my computer's going to explode in 12 minutes. <laughs> what, what do you think? Oh, you're saying on? you want me to start trying. I see. Yeah, yeah, start trying, start trying. Oh, oh, what do you got? Uh, you you're leaving so. in 12 minutes, Jim? Yeah. What the hell? I mean, I can tell you why, but... No, you don't have. I'm just playing. Like, sorry, it's like, fucking, I prolapsed again, whatever. I oh, just, I'll God. just tell everyone. Maybe he's got, like, a job interview. <laughs> yeah, bro. I gotta hit to Costco. It's the meanest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what, what do you mean? He's got a job interview. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Oh. What the fuck? That's good. <laughs> He said his computer's gonna explode. No, fuck you. stop it. Fuck you. Stop out. Fuck you for the job interview Knives comments. Are bad. Fuck you for the job. Fuck you for the job shit. Come here, dickhead. He Ryan's said right. That no is a pickles. He said no pickles on his hamburger. Ah, my back! Die. I'm about to die, be detected die, die, by grandpa. Die, 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 die. Dude, I'm Reaper Overwatch. Die, die, die. Why are you healing, bro? I'm right behind you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're behind me. Oh, there goes my throat. I got a kill! I got a kill! Oh, God. Oh, fucking yeah, Jesus Christ. In the neck. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so brutal. Bro, I'm so funny as the killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I've opened it again. I've just been running around for, for 90, 90 minutes. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Hello. They're gonna get out. They're gonna get out. You know, they deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it. What the I hell love that you can. I love that, like, it's like you can't a enter that tunnel. Yeah. I know. You're not allowed. <laughs> my, my anklet's gonna start beeping at me. Yeah. Nice dance, Ryan. Thank you, thank you. It's an approximation so of what I did for the whole game, basically. <laughs> Justin, you wanna try being Leatherface? Uh, not particularly. <laughs> All right. Alright. Oh, 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 he I'm hates sorry. it. <laughs> no, no. I'll it. try a different, a different killer, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Ooh, someone has to be Leatherface. 
I mean, I can be Leatherface again if it's not too much of an advantage for the victims. Hitchhiker, you should be Leatherface, man. I can't do it again. It's too <laughs> was me? Okay. Someone, someone should be Leatherface. Someone is not me. Uh, no, yeah, I can. I already I'll try did it my out. time, man. Oh no, Chibli is Leatherface. I will say, doomed. you know, it might not be a good idea if my if I'm gonna leave in six minutes and I'm Leatherface in the basement. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be, it could be me down. Well, it might give them a chance because then you can only kill them when they come out, I guess, or you have to go in there. Dude, the 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 fall into the the basement is so fucking. Fu ah! Ah! Oh my god! You're that being incapacitated, me. It was me. Fuck you. I've been incapacitated. I stabbed your ass. <laughs> I can't believe I stabbed the key. I didn't hit every wrong button. <laughs> How'd I you get down there so fast? So great. He did Dude, stab you me. You went down the me. fucking poop chute right next to the stairs, man. Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chibli murdered me. Just, beautiful picture, Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feed Grandpa, but then also I know Justin. He's around here somewhere. I'm gonna use my old man hearing powers to to suss him out. <laughs> no, no, okay. You think Leatherface is Grandpa's favorite? <laughs> he was just standing on top of you. Where's he going? Not this time. Oh, no. Not this time. Do you have a big pencil? <laughs> I don't know what my dude's holding on. It's like a stick. <laughs> uh. Is it a pencil? Oh, someone just got out. Jack oh, McCreary. Man. Oh, it's over there. It's over there, Justin. By where? Where's the where 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 chain Leatherface is the little yellow. Oh, <laughs> I snuck yeah, right I by did. you. <laughs> oh, Chibli's camping. He's camping. Or did he disappear? Is it time for him to disappear? Oh yeah, maybe his power got shut off. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You still get to dance. Oh. No, man. He's not dancing. He's, it's a, an act of frustration for someone that doesn't know how to express themselves any other way. But he does it when he wins, too. Uh. Yeah, he's Leatherface, man. Oh, so he'll never be convicted. I don't even know what to say, but why'd you have to make it political? I was out here doing a Donald Trump impression. You had to make it political on me. <laughs> Corey, how often, no, you, how often do you shave your head? Uh, it depends if I'm lazy or not. How often yeah. when you when, like when I'm in, not when I'm when you're moisturized, when like you when have I, good nutrition, you're in a good exercise routine, how often do you shave your head? Probably like every two days. Whoa! Holy cow! I got I got this new head razor called the Balder Pro. It works a treat. Ooh. Every two days. Like, like, like one day, no shave, no shave, another day. I don't know. I that's guess that's still, every three days. That's maybe? like, I thought you were going to say like once a week. That's when I'm like lazy. That's what, that's my default. I would say once every five days. I'd do you, like do you have light colored hair though? I have no colored hair. <laughs> <laughs> I would what? say I have, I have. A transparent? I have light brown hair. Yeah. It was, I don't know. It gets to a point where like I look at myself in the mirror and I just go, ugh. And then I got I got to trim it. I do hate when I see the sides coming in, or you see a photo of the back of your head, and you're like, "Yes, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the yeah, worst." Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, like you think yeah. that you're just bald, but then you look at you see a photo of the back of your head, and you've got like the little dip in in the yeah. hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I've been there. It's the worst. I'm never going back from there. Actually, it's just getting worse. Really, hmm. it doesn't get worse. Well, yeah. I imagine it's we sort just of get like, like maxes easier to out. As it goes on, <laughs> it's right? true. It is cruel that you go bald losing the top first. I feel like if you lost the back and the sides, that's not ideal, maybe, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> losing the top I'd... doesn't leave you a lot of styles to work with. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could just, just, yeah, just lose the sides and keep the top. At least you'd have like a. Some weird, like, flat top. You look like a badger or something, yeah. 
I like hiding. I don't like seeking. I like putting the mustard back in the fridge. I don't like having to ask you where I put it. <laughs> what? Somewhere. That's the weirdest <laughs> analogy I think I've ever heard. That's a okay. wild analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, that was I was playing as the killers. I was leaving little little traps around just in case Connie tried to escape from my Whatever, I'm just going loud. Who cares? Don't go. Oh, I guess, oh, I guess the loud is dangerous because it, it wakes grandpa. It's grandpa. Yeah. And, and so you know what it is is that you've been screwed over by loud people like four times, but you don't realize that if you go loud once every four times, you're screwing over five people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a tragedy of the again. commons. Does Leatherface always spawn in the same spot? I don't think so, because there's three different maps, even though I only recently discovered that. Yeah. In the oh, there's three different hours, like, lock picks. Same. There's three different maps on the house? Yes. Of, oh, really? I, I played now six or eight hours or something and i only was recently made aware of the fact that there's three different maps so take that as an indictment of me or as an indictment of the level design oh no i need a specific tool and i passed it oh no ah what tool what tool you need to get the valve holder the the knob i should say it's called a knob canonically speaking I saw the bone scrap if I wanted to stab that pigeon. It's a chicken in here? That's bad. That's the... I'm going yeah. to die. Oh, that's I have been sliced in half by Leatherface's chainsaw. No. Oh. So is Binks and Beans. I think we got one more, and I think it's going to be uh, uh, easiest win of our life. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then you never have to play it again. <sighs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. He hates it. Oh fuck! He hates it. it. He fucking hates it. I suggested it. He fuck, I got. I got everybody to download it. He put his credit card info to Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. It's a it's a one dollar trial. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. There's other. You good should look stuff, at all the other okay? games. On there, dude. There's so many games. There's on there. a lot of great games on Game Pass. That's fair. I mean, I'm really just kind of playing one right now. <laughs> yeah, we know. Game pass. <laughs> Let's see what's on game. Here, I can redeem this. I can make this better, okay? No, he's not playing Forza, brother. Let's be honest. <laughs> you Which can game? play Paw Patrol Mighty Pups Save Adventure Bay. Huh. Yo. <laughs> Copaganda. <clears throat> I'm, I'm glad you found a way to say that without it being vulgar. <clears throat> You guys I'm are in the, the clear because Leatherface is presently on me. I repeat, Leatherface, I've brought him directly to you. I'd like to apologize for that. Oh, I, why would you do this? I didn't know you were here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is the basement escape door. Okay, we need a fuse box. Oh, I locked him in a room with me. I'm dead. <laughs> Just I'm sorry. I, no, it's I, okay. Uh, I didn't know you were there. Are you guys still in the basement? Well, Justin's been dead for a while. Oh, yeah. I'm about to play like, now. Uh, I think I played like seven minutes of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what are these weird hooks with like the nut sacks on them? That's um, when you're a killer, you use that blood to feed grandpa. Oh, that feeds grandpa. Oh, yeah. Is it nut sack blood? Well, I've oh, been no. killed. Oh, great. Every one. time, man. Why am I always the last? <laughs> He's crazy. One alive? Any lockpicks in here? Oh, that's stuff. Oh, that's the fuse for the basement. <laughs> I love how it just puts the potion in the, in the fuse yeah. box. I feel like oh, just... Shit. Is, isn't it like a nightmare just to be a member of the family? Like, because most of the time you're living in your house, you're not killing people. So, like, isn't it like, oh, you want to go to the bathroom? Oh, wait, I got to get a screwdriver. Oh, I no. can't, I can't <laughs> get to the screwdriver because I need a, a fuse to open the door first. Uh, 
Oh. Shut up, Grandpa. Gas station owner, why did you put an extra padlock on my water closet? I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't get it open in time. I had to pee on the floor. He's going to make it out of the... He's going to escape. Looking good. Is it so slow? Just patience, patience. Slow is fast. I need the lockpicking lawyer. Yeah. No rush, brother. No rush. It's my later, fuckers. Holy cow. Look at you. Look he, at you. Well, I think that's as good a note to end on as any. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going so fast. Holy oh, cow. No danger. What do you think, running Let's back go. tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> London next Wednesday, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hates uh, it. He hates uh, it. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's cool. It. It's cool. He's like, uh, he, he likes it. He likes it. As soon as the stream ends, uh, <laughs> leave the Discord call, right click, uninstall, 50 <laughs> gigabytes back on the solid state hard drive. Oh, oh man, man. Uh, all right thanks oh. for gaming yeah, yeah good GGs, games good games GGs. GGs. ggs that did go worse than i expected it to go but i appreciate everyone put on a good they put on a smile on their face well people were like you got stream sniped i don't think that they were stream sniping i think they were just so good that it seemed like they were stream sniping to be honest the reason i think that is not just naivete but I think it was also that when we got in games with randoms, I basically performed at the same level as I did when people could have been stream sniping me, which makes me think that they were not stream sniping me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kate is ready to stream. I'll see you tomorrow. It's that simple. I still had a good time today, even if Texas didn't go as great as it could. If we could get a full lobby of friend Andys, that would change the game. Especially if they were all kind of somewhere between pure ass and merely mediocre. But that would require me to have six friends. And that's a problem as I get older. So I don't know. But either way, I'm going to send you over to Kate's stream. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't start the singing. Then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe. To get the man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shagwell shagged him real well. To place a homing device where no one dared to dwell.